Louis-Théodore Besserer. Il y a 150 ans, si vous aviez pu vous trouver aux alentours de l'avenue Laurier et de la rue Waller, le regard tourné vers l'est, vous auriez vu pas grand-chose. Alors que d'autres quartiers de la haute ville et de la basse ville de la capitale étaient des collectivités florissantes, la région appelée aujourd'hui la Côte de Sable était déserte et simplement une colline sablonneuse. Un homme doté d'une vision et d'un sens aigu des affaires allait changer tout cela. Louis Théodore Besserer. Louis Théodore Besserer was born in Quebec City in 1785 and studied to become a notary. When the War of 1812 began, Louis Theodore joined the Lower Canada Militia as a lieutenant in the 2nd Battalion of the Quebec City District. In 1813, he was transferred to the 6th Battalion and later promoted to captain. He became a confidant of Governor Georges Provo and handled special civilian missions during the conflict. Louis Theodore's older brother also served in the war, and after the Treaty of Ghent, you all remember the Treaty of Ghent now? Both were given substantial land grants. Louis Theodore chose the eastern townships, while his brother chose 124 acres in a sub-Arctic lumber town along the Ottawa River. <laughs> Does that ring a bell? Yes. <laughs> Louis Theodore continued his law practice, but also entered politics serving in the Legislative Assembly of Lower Canada. His political career was short-lived after the rebellions of 1837, where he was seen as too moderate. His first wife also passed away, and he decided to make a fresh start in Bytown, where he had inherited the 124 acres in the wilderness from his brother. Hey, watch sorry. where you're going. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, I was looking for the uh, De Marais building on Laurier. Um, that one? Oh, right. It's uh, there. You're visiting, right?